All right, guys, what are we doing here? Uh, we're working on a sycamore. Now, this one's, I've had it about a year now. It's a older model, Superior 394. Double action sycamore. I sheared the foot off of it last year. It moves the sickle bar. And I'm just now getting around to trying to fix it up. But uh, it's a good mower. But bear with me here. I'm going to put a tooth on. Maybe you've seen this. Maybe you haven't. This six, the sickle section, I knocked it off. It was loose. There's two rivets in here if you can see them. And I'm going to replace it. I hope I get enough footage here. Just pay attention. Try to level you up a little. I don't know how level you'll be. Oh lordy. Anyway, just pay attention here. First thing I got to do is take a punch. Knock these two old rivets out. There's one. Being a pain. That's two. All right. You got a sickle section. I ain't gonna replace new. Don't need to. Ain't been used a lot. I mean, the edges are still good. And the section ain't hurt. Just the rivets. That's the aggravating part about these rivet mowers. Well, older sickle mowers, they all got rivets. Now, put two rivets in them holes. As you can see, he paid attention that the factory side is on the bottom side of the slides. That's very important. All right. I'm going to try to turn you a little so you can see this. All righty. What I've got me here is I have one big, well, it ain't real big, but this here is a solid chunk of steel. And it is heavy. Talking, it's an inch and a half thick, and I have no idea where it came from. I've had it for years. But the idea with this is to hold them rivets in there till I get it turned over. But being that I'm out here on the end of the bar, it's a little tough. Yeah. I'm going to put something out of the other end of the bar, guys. Hang on. That's pretty good work. Oh, yeah. Now, let's find our rivet back. See if I can get him shoved back in the hole. I may have to turn it back over. Nope, I got it. Oh yeah, now them two rivets are sticking up there. What do we do with it? Well, take a three pound cross ping sledge on a very solid piece of steel. And you'll see what happens. Some people lay this on the grand anvil or ground or a piece of railroad track. The key is the hammer and the solid piece of steel. But you can see those rivets. It ain't going nowhere. Alright, we got that far on it. I gotta check these others. I done checked them all. If they're loose. I may go ahead and hit them a little bit while I got it apart. So to be quite honest, taking these things apart, if you don't get a lot, have to, and if you like it, I don't know anybody that likes taking a sycamore apart. Not a lot, anyway. Yeah, 
that time didn't look real good. Not that they're that bad, it's just it's just part of maintenance, guys. Anyway, now we've got this foot to put on here. Yeah. I'm seeing a problem here with my blade I didn't know existed. May have to address that here a little bit. Looks to be a little warped. Shouldn't be. Well, that straightened it back out. That's where I hit it after. Alright, let's see. We got some rivets to knock out of here too, and some holes to clean out. Like I say, these are pretty good mower. I had never had one of these. I've always had just a regular sick one. A guy I know had got this. That's part of the Urban Estate. And uh, got a couple of them actually. And I bought it. Oh man, that one's hard to get out. Wants to jump. I have to find me a circle. Now I've got it around here somewhere in my vent pile. need to make this more solid where I'm hitting it. I got a piece of steel with two holes in it. I should be able to get that a lot more solid by laying that on that steel with the rivet on the hole and hitting it pretty pretty good. I don't know, it's pretty tough. Just to be quite honest with you. Yeah, that one is tough. Tough, tough, tough. Let's see what this hole is. Oh, tough enough it doesn't hit bent my little old bitty nail punch. That gonna have to move on to something bigger. Yeah. Gonna have to fix that. Yeah, this is a definitely an experiment project here. I hate that I bent my nail punch. Let me see what I can do about that real quick here. Let's see. Three pound cross pin. You know I bent it right on the edge of that. Too bad. Ain't the best. <laughs> Guess we know how to fix a nail punch now. You bend it. You hit it again. <laughs> yep. Done pretty good on that, didn't we? Yeah. Anyhow, I think I'm going to have to drill those rivets. Because they're just too hard to punch. But anyhow, I'll catch you in a little while.